Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your boy Elui. If you're just tuning in for the first time, hi, my name is Uwe Fului. I'm a Nigerian based hairstylist based in Enugu. So if you've not subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to do that and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment box, like and share this video and also watch some of my videos. I have some insightful videos up here. So just click on my playlist and watch them so for today's video i'll be showing you guys how to do a full frontal installation so basically we'll be starting from washing the client's hair drying it and doing a proper bald method so in this video i'll be showing you how to do a proper balding so i know i have a video link here up here i did a balding for myself and it didn't really come out so in this video you guys are going to be seeing how to do a proper balding for your frontal installation then we'll go over to proper installation you guys all the steps and how to do them so if you're interested in this video you need to keep watching so now i'm just gonna go over and wash her hair and then go over induce my conditioner and then rinse out So this is like a thing for me before i dry a hair or apply heat on the hair i like to prep the hair first so i used um, the mamiya egan oil and then with my tresemme heat control before i now blow dry the hair So up next is my conroe, so I will lay in a foundation like doing everything all back. You can do really small if you want to, you can do medium, but I like to keep it medium. So now I'll be using um, the socks cap in beige. It's not her shade actually. So, but I'll be using the tint in caramel from Glitzential to like um, tone it down. So I'm just gonna go over and place it on her head and then use my got to be spray on it. And um, most times when I do this and it's not really the same shade with the client or the person I'm doing it on, I like to spray the tint on it when the cap is ready on her head so it can blend, you know, really fine. So then after that, I'll just go over and use my thread to sew it down. And after that, I'll, I'll cut out the excess cap on her face. So I'm um, doing this part which is called the uh, sculpting. You have to be very careful so you don't like cut your client's face or you know trim out the person's hair. So it's always advisable to be extremely careful when cutting out the excess soft scrap. So now I'm just gonna use my powder to blend it in. So now I'm going to be plucking the frontal. So my client um, required um, we do like a mild plucking. So she didn't want it, you know, crazily plucked. And after that, I'll just go over and use my tint in honey. So I'll just place it and ask my client to hold it down. So after that, I'll just go over and use my control paints to like hold it down and then go over and sew. So now before I apply my adhesive, I like to map out where I'm going to be putting the glue because I wouldn't want to have excess glue on 
her face so like i like to give like an inch away from the part i'm going to be putting the glue or an inch away from her face rather so i'll just go over and use my skin protect this skin protect is from potential and it has um alcohol in it so i'll just go over and use the adhesive and place it there so after that i'm going to spread it out with my rattle comb and then go over and use my hand dryer so i'll be using a cold breeze to like blow it out so i do like three thin um, layers before i now place my front So now I'm just going to carefully use my rat tail comb to like push in the front half. So when I'm doing this, I don't like to dig. I just do it carefully so it doesn't, you know, mess up. So now I'll just go over and cut out the excess lace. So now I like to do like the zigzag method. I don't like to cut straight so it can appear more realistic. So after cutting out the excess lace because it's supposed to be a custom made frontal then i'll just go over and use my rattle comb and my blow dryer to like press it down so now i'm going to section apart from the side where i'll be doing the side jars so i'm just going to use my razor blade to like trim it down and then i'll go over and use my wax stick to like control it down and then go over with my hot comb and after that i'm just going to use my wrap strip paper and tie the edges down So up next is installation so i'll just go over and get the weave i'll be using and then install it to the hair so but before that i'll be using my egg oil to like a moisturizer scalp before i start fixing So now after that i'll just use my scissors to like layer the hair i mean the frontal then after that i'll now use my um, blow dryer to like hot comb the hair and then go over with my um curling iron and curl the hair so but basically i'll be doing like two in front i'll be curling inwardly and then the last one i'll just curl it like upwardly so it can flip and then i'll just go over and use my flat iron to like iron the hair and after that i'll then style
So now I'll be using my got to be spray to set the hair. You can use any other hot spray to do this. So after that, I'll just carefully cut out my wrap paper. So guys, I'll be using my powder to highlight the part and then use the permanent marker to like take out the excess bleached part. Hmm, guys, I hope this video was really insightful and I hope you really enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you've not done that yet and leave a comment in the comment box and don't forget to like this video share it to your friends and watch some of my older videos so i'll see you guys next time bye